What's up guys? So, pardon the crazy hair here, but Feria has released 1.0 version 1.0 this year, and we can open up these gold chests finally. So, we've got two. There was a reason we couldn't open, they were locked. And they were locked because it needed to be version 1.0. Let's open this guy up and see what we get in here. These mythic chests that you can now purchase from the cash shop. They cost 750 uh, gems. Which is about five bucks, if I remember correctly. So mythic cards, which is always great because then you can break them down into to essence. Oh, a cipher's orb. So three mythic commons, which kind of sucks, but it is uh, it is good stuff to break down into to this like crafting essence. All right, last pack here. Ooh, we got a blue one. Oh, we got an epic. That's worth a lot right there. Common. And we got another cosmetic thing, a well. Very cool. So there you have it, guys. Uh, Faria is 1.0 now. It is supposedly better for free-to-play players. A lot of the suggestions that I made are making the grind easier, giving out more free daily packs and things like that is in the game. So this is going to be the time to check it out. 1.0 is now. Go download it on Steam. You can then play on iPad. iPad only right now. They are working on the iOS, the rest of the iOS family, the iPhone. Um, right now for it's only for whatever reason it's only on iPad I don't I don't understand it but it's only on iPad and it's on Steam so it's launched it's live it's live everywhere now you can play cross platform so you start on Steam and then you uh, switch it over to your iPad a little bit later using your uh, your login information and yeah the uh, user interface hasn't really changed too much uh, it has cosmetically gotten better I'm gonna open up the rest of these packs now and see Reroll, reroll. Let's see which one do I want to reroll, guys. Yeah, that's something you didn't get a reroll in the uh, the mythic chests. Okay, so we don't have either one of those, and I don't like that card. So let's reroll this one. So for those that don't know, you can get bonus chests and freebies by using a referral code, uh, which is simply putting in someone's username in the. All right, new on that one someone's username over here so you click on uh, on your friends list actually so friends list then you go all the way down here to the bottom left click on this right here and when you are a new user under level 5 you'll be able to enter your friends referral code so put my referral code in there for uh, hooking, uh, hooking you up guys it's YouTube Jason and then that will get you some free chests. That will give me some free chests. And as we both level up, or as you level up, you're going to get free chests for both of us. And again, you can do that for anyone. So anyone that you uh, bring into the game, give them your referral code, give them your username, and then you guys will both get free chests. Game is completely free to play. It is a card game, as you can see with attack and life. And then it's a combination of like Settlers of Catan with a board. So you build this board using tiles. So you've got the four elements, fire, wind, water, and earth. And you can build on this board. It's a hexagon. And you're building land to position your troops. They have energy costs that you need to get. There's energy on the side of the board. It's just very, very cool. So for gameplay, check out the rest of the videos we have here with some gameplay. We're going to bring out some uh, some gameplay videos a little bit later today as well. Oh, we got a legendary. And I don't like this. So this is when I actually I broke the other day because 12 energy is really high. Add four dragons to your hand. Each dragon is a different element, and you have to have the corresponding elements on the field to play them, and they are very expensive. So essentially, this card is a, a positive of four uh, energy if you play all the dragons, but you're not gonna play all the dragons. So let's reroll this and we got a different one Radiance Imperial Airships 20. This is I think the most expensive card in the game um, And I don't think it's really that good either Fairies cost equals to your life total gained one life for each card in your hand Yeah, I, no, I I I 
<laughs> so we went from bad to maybe worse on those on that legendary. Uh, we can always break it down into a like crafting system. Break it down pretty much into energy, and then craft whatever cards that you currently want. And it's not too bad to get the entire playset of the entire card. It's going to take you probably about a month or two to get every single card in the game uh, as a free-to-play player. So that's not bad at all, guys. Uh, let's see. New. All right, let's reroll that one. And this is the last pack here. So thanks for checking out the channel. Thanks for watching, guys. I will talk to you guys later. Good luck opening up your packs. Good luck playing the game. It definitely is a very steep learning curve. Um, very, very difficult in the beginning. There's just so much going on. And especially with the board aspect. There's so many mistakes that you can make in this game. Uh, and a couple of mistakes here and there really add up over time. So definitely practice, practice, practice if you want to play this game. Tons and tons of strategy. There's just pretty much endless combinations here. Well, that's and uh, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. I will talk to you guys later. Good luck.